right, time for a look at Arts and Entertainment. Adam's here. Yeah, and starting things off uh, with Pamela Anderson, because after just one week of competition, the Ladysmith native has been eliminated from Dancing with the Stars All-Stars. Pamela and Tristan. A Lady Smith's centennial baby and her professional partner earned the lowest judges' scores and didn't earn enough viewer votes to make up the difference. The actress and the model was apparently so disappointed she skipped the usual after-show interviews. Why is Pamela not here? Uh, but Pamela's not here. She's, she's not feeling too well. You think she's too upset to do the press line? Well, she, I mean, she, she's, she's definitely disappointed. I mean, we both are. Maybe the time, the nerves, uh, the intensity of what we were doing, maybe. Uh, maybe just just didn't pan out the way we wanted it to, unfortunately. Pam is a professional, though, and she finally uh, did make an appearance with Tristan on Jimmy Kimmel and said that their professional relationship may turn personal. Well, you perhaps know. there's still time on your personal... Uh... Mexico next week. Yeah. Do you think you will ever dance... <laughs> wow. We're not going to stop dancing together. <laughs> well, this is... I think we may have made a love connection here at the very least. I know. Now, now all bets are off. Dancing with the Stars All-Stars continues on Monday and Tuesday nights on CTV and right here on CTV2. And in other celebrity news, Andy Williams has died. The legendary crooner was 84. The singer and TV host died at his home in Branson, Missouri, after a year-long battle with bladder cancer. Williams was one of the most popular singers during the 1960s. His signature song was Moon River. He later hosted a series of Christmas TV specials in the 70s and 80s. Williams is survived by his wife and three kids. One of Canada's most famous singers is set to play one of our country's most infamous architects. Richard Margeson has returned to his hometown to help create a new opera about Francis Rattenbury. And the officer of the Order of Canada says that Rats' life has all the elements of a great opera. The jolly fine stone, guilty. To put it in a nutshell, it's about murder, lust, seductresses, uh, intrigue, you name it. It's, Why it's wasn't this an opera before? Well, it should have been. I mean, uh, uh, but it's a fantastic story. And the fact that it's real life is really quite uh, phenomenal and based in Victoria. Margeson plays Rattenbury at the end of his life when he's bludgeoned to death by either his wife or her younger lover. Shemaine's tenor Ken Levine plays the architect as a young man when he designed iconic buildings such as the BC Legislature and the Empress Hotel. The opera is written by Victoria composer Tobin Stokes. That's him in the blue shirt. He's done this for a cast of seven singers and a seven-member chamber orchestra. They're in the midst of workshopping the music before select songs make their public debut this weekend. And it's Levine's first chance to work with Margeson. He leads off the opera, and it was like having a voice lesson right there. Uh, he was right beside me, and, and my, my chest and my temples were vibrating from the sound of this voice, and it was, uh, it was an amazing experience. Well, it's creatively satisfying, and also, as I say, collaboratively, it's, it's wonderful because you get to actually work with the, with the composer, and uh, you get to uh, see exactly firsthand what his wishes are. And uh, Tobin is wonderful because he's also open to change, to make things perhaps easier dramatically or emotionally or musically. The Rattenbury concert is Saturday and Sunday in the Crystal Ballroom at the Fairmont Empress under the baton of a conductor from the Moscow Symphony. Full details are available at otherguystheatre.ca.